Hello YouTube, I'm Eddie V. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to strap and tarp warehouse racks. So this is an easier load to do. There's many multiple loads that you can grab. Some racks require to be strapped. I mean tarps, some don't. So these want, these customers want them uh, uh, tarp. So basically the, the guy already threw the tarp on for me to unroll. It's going to be pretty easy. All you got to do is climb to that level and unroll it. So it ain't going to be too bad. Um, yeah, so now I strapped it, so I ran one strap through the middle there on the bottom, and same thing back down here, that way this rag doesn't go anywhere. And then I ran two four inch straps, one in the front, one in the back there, and then one there as well, and one there as well. As you can see, and I ran a two inch across there for added safety, and one across through the second so that they don't shift at me. So I got that done and taken care of. Um, what was I gonna say? I already forgot. Let's go take a look back here. I'm gonna show you how it's strapped down. Basically like that, you can go inside of the rail because it's not wider than the trailer. As a tarp, so basically it's gonna require two tarps. That tarp's not gonna cover the whole thing. I'm gonna have to throw a small tarp in the back. So basically, yeah, after you do that right here, there's another thing you guys need to do. All right, see these zip ties right here? I don't know, I don't know how your guys load is but let me open this um but mine i got these edge guards here that have holes in them so i could zip tie the edges because the edges there are pretty sharp so now i'm going to go zip tie them and then and then show you guys how it's uh, how i zip tied them okay guys as you can see here that's how i zip tied them down and um they are now zip tied and don't go anywhere so you can just roll the tarp over them and then your edges won't go through the tarp and it'll be good to go so now what you do on this load specifically i'm going to throw the small tarp in the back and then the top tarp uh the bigger tarp and i want the bigger tarp to cover the one in the bot in the back so yeah time to go get the smaller tarp first all right fellas so basically drivers i got this um tarp already tucked in so that's the basically part of the tarp that I already got ready. Now it's time to throw down the eight foot tarp that's all the way up there. Unroll it and go. This should be good to go. I should have, shouldn't have any issues. So when I'm gonna roll it, the flap is gonna face down. So hopefully it's not gonna cause any issues for me. Okay guys, so we have our tarp fully on. Uh, the flap facing forward and everything like that. Tarp is on. Both of them are on. I will use straps for some places to strap it down, but also what I need also need to do, guys, is um, you when you're doing this, you have to climb over here, behind here, and actually bungee down a few, I would say at least two on the inside towards pulling that way. So once you do that, guys, go ahead. You could either strap. I'm gonna do the final video. I'm gonna work, but uh, my plan is I'm gonna put a strap there a strap in the front and one strap in the back there and a strap holding that there so that should be helping the tarp all right time to bungee and strap down all righty guys so here's the finished product as you can see that's how i did my load um i'm all tired so make sure to keep yourself dehydrated i mean hydrated because it was 86 degrees outside when I started loading and I feel terrible and I drink some liquids but I need to drink a lot more but yeah that's how you tarp it guys um nothing is showing it is the way I want it to be I don't think it's gonna move on me or anything like that so yeah I have a fantastic load right now hopefully tarp hopefully no holes even though some of my tarps do have holes already Hopefully I can get it all squared away. Guys, I'm Eddie B. 2004 6 Series. Drive and attempt on the 6 Series.